Okay, uh, my name is Cathy Constable. My, my poster is about looking at the record of geomagnetic excursions in paleo field models. Here you see the temporal distribution and the spatial distribution of the various records that uh, we have over the past 100,000 years. And I'm going to use two time varying field models to do this. One is LS mod point two for 50 to 30,000 years ago and GGF 100K, which spans the past 100,000 years. If we uh, Look at the global view, we see that the dipole moment goes down when there's a global excursion, which is the Lachamp. Uh, we see that there is a decrease in VGP latitude. And if we go over here, we see that the paleosecular variation index, which measures this activity, is large during the Lachamp excursion. It's got slightly large value, larger than average values um, at other times, but it does not globally exceed the 0.5 threshold that we think registers an excursion. And if we look at the VGP distribution for a time, the time of the Lachamp excursion, we see that it's much broader than it is at other times. If we look at the regional view, we see here that the maximum paleosecular variation index on the left, the duration in the middle, and the start age on the right. And we see that this varies with uh, which model you look at. And um, it's also true that it varies with which excursion that you look at. Uh -huh. And we can ask a question of whether South Atlantic anomaly-like features that we see in the modern field, do they lead to excursions? This is not necessarily the case. Here are a bunch of examples that don't. And uh, we can look in detail at uh, time series based on these models. On GGF 100K, we can look at 100,000 years of variability in, uh, in this case, in both South America and in South Africa. And on the left here, you see the declination, inclination, and field strength. On the right, you see the rate of angular change and the rate of directional change. And the takeaway from this is that uh, South America is more active and things vary more rapidly in South America than they do in South Africa. So uh, how can we continue to improve these models? Uh, we need new records with uh, high resolution and excellent dating. Um, we need better uncertainty estimates, and we need collaboration with geochronologists to enable interoperability across databases. Uh, that's what I have for you. Thanks.